Hello and welcome back to Cooking the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris. So we are heading to a jumble trail or a doorstop sale? Like doorstop boot sale, that how does it call it? Um, Tavistock. We'll see what we find and I'm going to take you along for a ride just like we do at a car boot sale. See you in a bit. So I do really enjoy going on jumble trails and uh, this one's called a doorstop sale I think um, but it's very much the American way so it's like a garage sale or a yard sale everyone in a small locality a small town a village um, does it at the same time on the same day so that buyers can travel uh, around even on foot sometimes uh, and visit all the yard sales. Yeah, we are a bit early, sorry about that. We've Don't just come from the boot it. sale. Oh, was it, what was it like? Did, it, was it well supported? Um, there was about 30 or so. That's 30. very good. That's not that too bad. It it's just rain, it's just oh. <laughs> heaven's opened, yeah. What a shame. Yeah, I know. That's Microclimates. Yeah, that's what happens. So Annabelle is constantly going on about Devon microclimates. And to be honest, it is kind of true. I mean, you can, you know, it can be sunny one minute, you drive 10 minutes down the road and it's peeing it down. That, uh, it's very strange. I actually wouldn't mind um, doing a, a store myself if we were to have a, a jumble trail in yeah. our village it would lend itself quite well to to do in a jumble trail in in modbury in uh, devon quite a small village quite cozy you could probably walk round it oh, maybe i should organize one what do you reckon let us know folks if you're in the area whether i should have a go at organizing one it's probably too hard it probably takes a lot more organising than what you think, I can imagine. I just want to take this moment to thank you all for tuning in, not only to the channel, but to these sort of live style recordings that I've been doing recently. Fair bit of positivity, lots of good feedback. So it's nice to know that you're enjoying these kinds of videos. Also, I have had a suggestion as well that actually I should hand over the voiceover to Belle, to Annabelle, um, and let her do the voiceover, which it would actually be quite funny because, you know, she'd probably come out with some funny comments, probably criticise me to the hilt and say, why am I picking that up? Why am I picking this and that? But uh, that might be funny. So stay tuned for that. We may do that at some point. Uh, I think that would actually be quite good. Don't forget, guys, drop a comment. Um, let me know what you think. If um, you like what I've picked up or you don't like or um, if you've seen stuff that I've missed. This always happens. Every single uh, video, um, people tell me that I've missed stuff. Um, I can't possibly know everything about everything. I mean, I know a lot about a lot, but not everything. But seriously, though, thank you all for tuning in um, and keep watching to the end of this video if you can, because I will show you everything that I've picked up. So there's Annabelle. She's lagging behind a bit. I've done like five stalls and she's still at the first one. All right. Oh, I saw that a minute ago. 
Well, have you got three quid so I can pay for it? You ain't got any money? I have got money, but nobody's got change. You did say that on the adverts. Bring correct money. I it's think that would be a no. Is that a no? Yeah. Okay. Two pound. No, 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 three. No, I've got no money now. Yeah, okay. We need to get some change. Thank you very much. Yeah, because everybody will be having the same. I'll definitely never see that three pound again. I know that much. Oh, not another one. <laughs> another one. Yeah, it's a small one, isn't it? Not another metal detector. Come on, Chris. Now, I decided not to pick that one up because I did already buy the other one a few weeks ago. Having said that, the other one did sell and I got like 50 odd quid for it. I'm not sure that one was worth anywhere near as much, but uh, no, I decided against it anyway. Look at these cute little doggies. A little cocker spaniel there, the black one. Cookie would have loved that one. Now, there was a few sort of interesting little bits and bobs on this stall um, that both me and Annabelle were interested in. But, as usual, I kind of have a little scan first. See what we're interested in. See if there's a deal to be made, maybe. Because, obviously, you know, the more things you pick up on a stall, the more likely you are to get a deal. Now, I bet you guys are going to tell me that I missed some good trainers or football boots there. I'm just useless when it comes to trainers. Please don't tell me I've missed a £100 pair of trainers. Oh, what's this? How much is your DS? Um, with all those games? Oh, I don't know. Um, 10, 15, I don't know actually. Don't Fingers know. crossed it's all there. So it should be, it's been in the box for ages. Does it all work all right? As far as I know, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's in decent condition. Yeah. So what's your price on it? Uh, with all the games, 15. 15. That's just a guess. <laughs> now, what do you think? 15 for the DS and the, yeah. and the games? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look what you got. Now, I'm not great with games at the minute um as you've seen in the past but i do know there was one game in this slot that was at least worth something and that was uh animal crossing i do know that that has some value which might have been worth spending 15 quid on this lot and then splitting it all up i'll take this what have you got okay how much is it Three quid. Footy finals and lager with the lads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Annie, can you go get so all those all the change from that um a little money box? Yeah. Are you selling these all together or as one um, job lot or what? Ideally it's all together, yeah. What are you what are you asking? I was gonna put my handbag down and um, I might have Again a couple of quid. Um, I'll take those. We've got the teapot thing. Yeah. So what's that? Eight? Is that eighteen? Did you say three for that? Yeah. So that's eighteen. Eighteen. Um, how much for the uh, thimbles, honey? Oh, really? Let me oh. just double check. We well, have put them okay. online, and there is someone that is getting Sorry. back to us. All oh, right. Um, okay. How much are you kind of offering, hun? I mean, I'd have guess. I would have said sort of like four, five pounds. Okay. Like Let's see what she comes back with. I'll take those anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, yes, yeah. okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Just try to stick that in. Have you got the chain? You got two quid? Yeah. Sorry. Two pounds? I'll let you yeah, first start of the day, yay. <laughs> Not a bad one. 
Lovely. Thanks Great. very much. Thank you. Cheers. There you go. There you go. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. I mean, if it's still here in a couple of hours, if I don't know if you're, how long you're staying yeah. around, have a stop. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll have a look around and then might come back. And then, um, yeah, if it's still there, grab it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. What, what, were, what were they giving? What, what, your what kind of you price were you looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, going to sort of around five pounds. There's some quite unique ones in there. Yeah, it's unusual, country. isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I could give you a fiver for it if you want. If you want to take it, or it's up to you. Sound fiver now? Um, it's up to you. I just because they, I don't think they do it. It's okay. No, yeah, it's all right. No worries. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Someone contacted me online. They were interested in them, but I was just waiting. I'm so sorry. I oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, thanks. See ya. You too. So in case you're not sure, I was interested in a big box full of thimbles, these ceramic ones. Um, some of them can be quite collectible. Um, but she actually said, or she implied, that possibly someone on Facebook might have been interested in buying them. But as we all know, Facebook, very, very unreliable. I really hope someone came back and picked those thimbles up. Um, because you know what I say? A bird in the hand. See the, the make on that, can you? Mm. Military search. Quite a nice coat, really. How much is your coat? Two pounds. Two pound. Is it worth getting, do you think? Thank you. Thank you. I was going to put it back and then you said two pounds, so. <laughs> Do you want me to take the hanger out? Do you want the uh, hanger? No, you can, have, you can have the hanger, it's fine. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. So as I'm doing this, we'll Annabelle is trying to figure out um, what address we're going to go to next. Where are we going? No idea. Yeah, without a map, um, which I, I, I don't believe there was a map, um, but without a map and just a list of addresses, it can be quite Hi. tricky to figure out where you're going and in what order to do it. Um, but it is what it is. We did our best. I'll have a look. No worries. Well. <laughs> right, what we got on here? Some toys. Oh, some lingerie. I am not buying any more ladies' lingerie. You saw the last video. No more. How much is your teddy? They're a pound each. Pound each. They're 50p and 20p in the other books, but the Disney ones are only okay. No, that's fine. Um, I'm going to head over to that 50p box in a minute. There's a good load of plushies in there. There's bound to be something worth picking up. There's no DVDs. Um, I'm scanning those there. Um, but I'm about to head over to that big box you can see at the top of the screen. Now, whilst, um, whilst I'm going to be looking at these uh, and deciding which ones are worth picking up, um, I've had a few complaints, actually, that I'm not giving movie recommendations for the ladies. So the rom-coms, the romantic films and all that soppy stuff. Um, well, I've got two genuine recommendations for you. Um, for all the ladies out there and the men, if you, you know, if you like that kind of stuff, two really good films from the nineties that you need to watch: Mel Gibson, Forever Young. That is a brilliant film. Absolutely love that film. Make sure you watch that. A bit of a time traveling type element, sort of, to it. You'll know when you watch it what I mean. And also. Um, the Nicolas Cage film, It Could Happen to You. That's another great film, both from the 90s, both really good films. Even I like them, so it's not just for the ladies. Wild cats. Hmm. I think you might be all right. I mean, we just came from that boot sale, so... Uh, yes, at the football pitch. So, it, and it, the heavens just opened there, so. Oh, 
So I've managed to pick up some plush toys. I never, ever fail. Never fail. Uh, stay tuned. Later in the video, I'll show you exactly what I got there, how much I paid, and why I decided to pick them up. Have you got anything? I've got change, yeah. Right, I've got a tenner. I love Spyro. Um, it's cute. I, I know, it's, oh yeah, it's, but it's Skylanders, but oh, right. that's cute anyway. Yeah. How much is that? Um, How much are your um, films and stuff? Sorry? How much are your films? Films. Films. Films, sorry. It's alright. It's dodgy accent. It's alright, we're from Manchester, so you won't understand us. Um, <laughs> I don't know, you can have uh, uh, 10 for a pound. 10 for a pound? Get rid of it, I need them gone. Right, well, that means I have to now look through this lot. Ten DVDs for a pound, and there was even some Blu-rays in there. And despite looking through it all, um, I just couldn't find enough there to warrant me picking any up. Um, but Annabelle did spot this cushion, which was right next to the DVDs. And it's probably worth a little bit of money. So this week's B-movie recommendation from Car Boot Chris is going to be Solar Impact. And this is a bit of a mashup across between um, Deep Impact, your kind of disaster movie, and your zombie movie, 28 Days Later, that kind of thing. So worth a watch, that's Solar Impact. I thought this cast iron mincer yeah, no, um, like looked it. very interesting, Pro possibly unused. Um, but cast iron things like this tend to go pretty well. So um, I was certainly going to pick this up for £3. £3? You ever used it? Mm. Uh, yeah, go on, we'll have that. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what we're on at the minute. Six at the moment. <laughs> Getting these? Is that what we are? Yeah. Six. Six pound. Yeah. Are you just paying for it all and I'm just going to end up owing them? Yeah, it's fine. Did you buy much of it? Is it much Didn't buy a lot, really, to be honest. I only bought. It's just a look at the drawer, isn't it? Cake. Have you got four quid? <laughs> Bloody typical, it's my money coming out again. And she just don't come out of any money. She don't believe in cash. It's like, we're at a jumble trail. You need cash. Cash is king. Ah, the sun comes out, it's boiling, isn't it? Yeah. I know, it's a totally different day now, isn't it? I know. Maybe we were sat around and I was like... <laughs> yeah. I was like, first thing I've done is put the trolley up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't often pick up books, and you always see a lot of books, and you can quite often get them quite cheap, you know, like 10p, 20p a book. But, um, you know, you, you've got to really know what you're looking for with them, otherwise you can be landed with a load of stuff, a load of junk. Uh, in the meantime, I've spotted this camera. It's a Polaroid instant camera. Uh, it's got a £3 label on it. Is it one of the, um, one of the instant instants, instant yeah. Mm -hmm. Polaroid. Uh, now, this couple were really funny. Very amusing uh, exchange we had at this store. Come through any rain or not? Uh, we were at the car boot sale this morning and it poured down on... For, uh, the football pitch. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah it uh, came down. But they have the mi it's microclimates, isn't it? Yeah, man, isn't it? Yeah. Thank goodness. Touch wood so yeah. far. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't want that. No, I think it'll be all right now. Well, I hope so. It's certainly flat out that way. It's so 
I spotted an interesting little uh, rucksack on the floor here. A promotional, I presume it's a promotional item for Maynards. Very interesting. I like picking up promo items. Is that the price on it? Well, it's got a pound on it. That's fine. I'm not gonna bath. I'm not gonna get you down more than a less than a pound. I'm never gonna use it. No, it's fine. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Manchester. Manchester. Come all the way down just for the jumble trail. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. Oh, yeah. Now we we moved down in March, so we moved to Modbury. That was lucky, wasn't it? Just, yeah, just about two weeks before yeah. it all kicked off and we've been stuck in the house ever since. Modbury, South Devon, yeah. Yeah, no, it's nice, it's yeah, really it's nice. Well, of course it is, yeah. That's where all the posh people come to live. Well, God knows what we're doing there then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. yeah, all the Mancunians coming down and ruining the place. <laughs> right. Catch you later. See you later. Nice couple that. It did make me chuckle afterwards. Yeah, very funny. Um, anyway, we're moving on. We are driving round the area, trying to find all these stalls, all these little garage sales and yard sales that are all set up. Um, this one had some toys on it. I don't really know what I'm looking at with these kind of things. I think it's like, uh, it's not Action Man, is it? It's G.I. Joe, I think. Uh, now, I'm looking at it like I know what I'm doing, but what I'm actually doing is looking for the cool. year on it uh, to see when it was made. Obviously, the, the older it is, uh, probably the, the better it is to pick up. And she wanted a fiver for it. Uh, I wasn't... I wasn't too sure about it, to be fair. Um, now, you guys might well tell me now that uh, How much this is, is worth some money, but I didn't know. I didn't know. No way it was. So I had to leave it. How much is your Star Wars thing? Board game? Uh, 12 pounds, 12. Yeah, videotape. Now, I spotted three figurines here, and I'm sure my subconscious picked these up because there was a certain... Um, subscriber follower friend who watches uh our channel who had been trying to convince me recently to yeah. watch a okay. dodgy b movie called samurai cop and i'm sure that had a bearing on me me picking mm. up these kung fu figurines now i can tell you that i've watched a trailer for samurai cop and i definitely will not be watching the film it looks bloody awful and that is an understatement. So here's a recommendation for all of you. Do not How watch Samurai Cop. Five pound each, those. They were my husband's. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. They were my husband's. They're just lovely. I brought them back from Hong Kong when I went. Unusual, aren't they? Yeah. Really unusual. What about your watch? Yeah, ten of that one. Loris. Okay. Yeah, nothing wrong with that one. Go all work. Here. Wonderful, thank you, dear. So the lady was asking five pound each on those okay. figurines. Um, I was really unsure with it, so I put them back down. But I think there is a deal to be made. There's definitely a deal there on the table. Come on. Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder what we can do. Yeah, just spray it. 
Yeah, they are. Oh, they're usually, yeah. Did you do £10 on them? What, for three? Yeah. £12? Mm. Go on, you can force out two. <laughs> do you like the martial arts stuff? Um, I just think they're different. Yeah. Just like some usual yeah. yeah. I've not seen, to be honest, I haven't seen any here. Yeah. And uh, my husband was a martial artist, so whenever mm. I saw anything, they are quite different, aren't they? Yeah, to the norm. certainly are. I don't know what do you reckon on that. Yeah. Bit of an unknown quantity. Mm. Go on then, all yours. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. I'll just get some bubble wrap for you. Oh, lovely, right. thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a tenner, take that. Thank you, thanks, thanks very much. So, job done. Deal in the bag. We did it at £10. Well, we're done at the Jumble Trail slash doorstop sale uh, in Tavistock. Uh, did pick up a few bits and bobs. Annabelle also got a few things, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And, um, well, next up, we've got to get home and we're going to share what we found. I picked up a fair few bits. I was reasonably happy. And we didn't actually get round every single house. Um, we initially we targeted the ones with most on the streets and then we did a few others and then Annabelle was a bit tired, we'd had enough, we decided to call it a day. So we still got some good stuff, so let's get straight into it now and see what we got. Everything that I picked up I bought blind. I didn't have a way of checking completed solds on eBay because I had my strap on on recording for you guys so I had to do everything blind. I just took a punt on everything. So first up you might have seen this Nintendo DS. I wasn't sure whether to get it. I mean for, it was like 10 to 15 pound he wanted for it. In the end he said 15 which I thought he was going to do. It's in real nice condition. It's still in its box. It's got all its instructions. It's a black one. It's got its stylus, the plug. It's got everything in there, which is good. It works, I've given it a try. It's been reset to factory settings. Um, so it's the DS and it came with nine games. No real stunners here, maybe one reasonable one. So I'm sure you can pick out the one that's half decent. Um, no amazing games. They're all sort of two to four pound games. Apart from Nintendogs, that one, which is probably maybe £6. And also, where's it gone? Oh, Animal Crossing, which may be £12, £13, £14 for that one. So I paid 15 for these um, in total. I reckon the DS in its box and everything is worth around £25. The games, I reckon, are worth probably 18, 22, 3, maybe 35 to 40 pound on the games. Um, so that's, uh, that's 60 quid roughly for total. Am I being a bit generous? Uh, am I, am I over egging it? I reckon about 60 if I split things up a bit and not sell it as a bundle for a cost price of 15. So that's not too shabby. And remember, I'm blind on this, that I had no way to check solds completed. This was an unusual one. Uh, Maynard Sports Mixture um, Rucksack. So I presume it's some kind of promo bag, like a promo item, which I always like picking up stuff like that because it's generally, they will go, they will sell. That cost me a pound. And I'm thinking 15 to 20-ish. I also picked up this um, jacket, which I think is unworn. I don't think it's been worn. It's a green kind of army style jacket. I'll step back a bit and see, so you can see. Um, it cost two pound. It's 
I think it's made by George, you know, Asda, which I didn't realise at the time. It's sort of tagged military serps, so military surplus. Well, it's not going to be if it's made by Asda, but and it's and it has got a George tag. However, I still think, having paid two pound for this, I still think I'm going to aim for between twenty and twenty five pound because it's a real nice jacket anyway. It's a nice, nice jacket. So that's a decent purchase. Um, I picked up this, I wasn't sure whether to get it or not, I really wasn't, uh, Polaroid 1, it's got one film with it as well, whether that still works I don't know, because obviously it's out of date, these are, these are quite old, it's out of date, I don't know, there's no date on it, I paid £3 for this, I've not tested it yet, Um. Looking now at Souls and Completeds, they are all over the show. It's really hard to tell where the price is with this. I'm thinking 25 quid because you've got the film there as well. Maybe a little bit more, but I'm thinking sort of 25. That's where I'm at with it. Um, let's see what else we've got. I found this cast iron mincer and... Can you see that? Can you see that all right? Um, I think she said she'd only used it once. I've not opened it up yet to check the condition of it. It seems to be, you know, the box has been kept nice, which is always a good sign. These are going for around 20-ish pound, sometimes a bit higher, sometimes a bit lower. So I'll probably aim for between 20 and 25 on it, if the condition's okay. Cost me three pound. So not too bad. Now for some plush toys. Um, I saw quite a lot of plushes, so I had to kind of restrain myself a little bit. Um, <clears throat> which one was it? I went to a store. You might have seen it on the video. Um, she had some £1 Disney plushes. And then in a big box, some 50p, just random, random ones. Now, I prefer... I'll have a scan at the Disney's, don't get me wrong, but I always prefer to go over to the 50p or the cheaper ones, the ones that people think are not worth anything. Normally you can find some decent ones in there. So a little tip there for you. Um, this thing was in that 50p box. It's a Disney High School Musical on tour Wildcats plush with the nice little jacket. Um, so cost 50p of course, um, prices are all over the show, some of the international ones are going for good money, but I'm thinking about £15 on him. Um, we got another 50p one, Rupert the Bear, he's a Playmakers plush, and I'm thinking 10 to 15 on him. Um, two the same, which is good, two, um... T.Y. Beanies, are they beanies? Well, they're T.Y., but... Oh, yeah, they've got beanie paws. Um, they're like husky dogs. Now, you might be able to see this one needs a few baby wipes on it. This one needs a wipe down. It's got, I think, it's either makeup or lipstick on him. Hopefully, that will clean off okay. These are quite big for sort of T.Y.'s. Um... But the prices are good. They cost me 50p each. I'm thinking £15 each. I think one recently sold for five, but there's been some internationals as well that have gone for good money. So I'm thinking 15 quid each on these, which would be a good, a good return. Here's a make that I've bought quite a few times now, and it's one not always to look out for, but sometimes to look out for. Um, it's a Gund. You can see there, Gund, G-U-N-D. This particular one is called Flowering Friends. And again, I think he could be worth £15. Cost 50p. So it pays sometimes just to check those cheap bins because the ones that people think aren't worth anything are sometimes worth more than the ones they think are worth something. Did I say that right? Whatever. Check it afterwards. You know what I mean. And an example of that is this fellow was a pound. 
and he's obviously a Disney. It's King Louis. Um, I knew he wasn't going to be worth loads. He's probably worth nine or ten pound. So I paid more for him, and he's worth less than the ones I paid less for. Jesus, that's confusing. Um, I also picked up this Spyro. I couldn't resist. As soon as I saw Spyro, I went over because that's so cool. I love that. I might even keep him. He's a Skylanders plush. He's probably worth about £10. Cost a pound. But that's so neat. I really love that. I might keep him. If I sell him, it's a tenner. Now, the last items that I picked up on the Jumble Trail were three figurines. And these are the ones that I really took a chance on. Because I paid £10 for the three. So, let me show you what I picked up. Um, there's the first one. They're quite nice and they're in great condition. I don't think there's any damage on them. I really, really studied them before I bought them. Uh, she wanted £5 each. In the end, we settled on £10 for the three. They're made by Wan Jiang. And I've looked them up. There are some listings for some similar ones. Someone's selling them at £17.50 each. Only one the same. The other two are different. I just want to put them down somewhere where they're not going to crash and smash. So that was one. This was the other one. So effectively £3.33 each. Very, very different. I like stuff that's a bit different than the norm. And I thought at that price, at £5 each, I think it's a, it's clearly a bigger risk, but I like picking up different things. <clears throat> and it's funny because I had that conversation like uh, I did on the commentary I mentioned with um, young Oliver Ian um, about the uh, Kung Fu film thing that he uh, kind of advised me to watch, but not. And then I saw these, which was really uh, just a coincidence. So it's those three. I'm going to shoot. I think I can list them at £20 each. And I'm not going to list them as a bundle. I'm going to do them separately, just in case people are wanting an individual one to complete a collection or to add to a collection. So I'm going to list them separately. I'm going to aim for 20 each on those. Cost price £3.33.33333. And that's everything that I picked up from the Jumble Trail. As I say, we cut it a bit short. We didn't go to every household. Uh, the rain was threatening. We were tired. Um, it does take it out of you quite a bit, really, going on the Jumble Trail, because you're in and out, in and out of the car, stop, start, check the map, reroute, all that business. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain, but it's good fun at the same time. But before I finish this haul, I'm going to show you what Belle picked up as well, because she picked up a few little bits from the Jumble Trail. So she got um, a Vampire Diaries set of books. And they cost her £1. I think they're worth between 10 and 12 She also found this really good um, Harry Potter Slytherin um, cushion. And... The special thing about this is, it's not from Primark, because they do similar things to this, but it's from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And that's the key thing that will make this worth around £20. Cost £1, it's going to be worth around £20, um, simply because it came from the Studio Tour. Always good to look out for the Tour Studio stuff. And Belle also picked up this um, Disney uh, Clover Toast Rack. Really unique, that. I really liked it. I picked it up myself, but I decided at £3 or £4, nah, I'll leave it. Because it did have a little bit of damage, and I don't know if she saw that. And um, this is probably the worst item that Belle picked up. Um, 
because it's probably worth less than ten pound in the condition that it's in. There's loads of them listed. I think people thought they might be worth money. They're not. I think there's too many listed. It's got a lot of crazing on it as well. If you know what I mean by crazing, all the little tiny little hairline cracks on it. Um, so less than ten pound, maybe eight or nine pound on that. If she's lucky. Um, she also got this, which is a. Uh, it's a. It's like a Lego. Right. How do I explain it? You push it along, and it scoops up all your Lego, and puts it in the back of the truck. How do I open it? Jesus. How do kids operate these things? I can't even operate it. Um, so yeah, it scoops up the Lego, puts it in the back, so it kind of tidies up your Lego. Yeah, that's basically it. So it costs £1. Initially, when I looked at the prices of this, I thought we were going to have something really good on our hands, because some of the listings were like 30 quid. But when you look at solds and completed, it's probably somewhere between 10 and 15 pound but it's still decent now the final thing that annabelle picked up this is probably the best item that she found um, other than the harry potter pillow it's a tea for two wittard of chelsea tea for two set or whatever you call it have they got their washing machine on next door Sorry if that's interfering. Um, I can't even open it. And it's quite a nice little tea set. Now watch this go all over the floor now. I'm going to hold it. Teapot, two cups. And um, I can't remember what she paid for it, to be honest with you. It might have been one or two pound, I can't remember. Uh, but probably worth between 20 and 25 pound. So that's it for today. That's it for this video. That was the Jumble Trail over in Tavistock. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the like, drop us a comment. Let us know what I missed. There's always stuff that I miss. I'm terrible. I miss loads of great stuff. And you guys always point it out, but it means that I look for it next time. So let me know what I missed. And we'll see you again on the next video or the next live show. Take care. Bye.